We are at Ramshaw Rocks for the Crackers Dozen. This is 12 routes, easy to really hard. It's meant to get up to 28 degrees today, so not the perfect day. This is gonna be horrendous. Let's get into it. Also, Mari is here today, so you don't have to watch me, you can watch Mari. So Pete, you can film Mari. Today. <laughs> route one in the bag. We're on route number two. Uh, where did we come down? Can you remember? Number four, this is the crank. It's more like a high ball with a terrible landing, I would say. The Americans wouldn't really call this a route. But for us Brits, this is, this is big. Route number four, in the bag. On to route number five, which is green crack, I believe. Green and cracky. Challenge number five. Yeah. How are you feeling so far? I'm feeling pretty good actually. Confident and sweaty and it looks very easy, but I've learned that the Peak District or the Gritstone, it usually looks like piss and then it's not. With that in mind, I'm going to give it a go. Which professional climber is the best pirate? <laughs> oh, that's better, better than mine. I was just going to say Emily Harrington. <laughs> I feel like you can do that with anyone. <laughs> Apart from Pete. That doesn't really work. <laughs> On to challenge number six. on route number six, this is Great Zorn. In the list it says wide committing and ballsy. It does, wide committing and ballsy. <laughs> it looks wide, it doesn't look very committing, but it could be ballsy at the top. Stop. Don't you think these look like my hands? No. You don't? No. I think that looks like my finger. Looks like my podgy index finger. Look at it. Just, just a little bit because it's smaller. No. No? No, not too skinny. Oh, too skinny. Bad technique. Bad technique. I never have bloody hands like that. It's really uh, nice for. Hard VS actually. Some of the other hard VSs at Ramshaw are much more ballsy and committing, I would say. That was nice because it's totally in the shade, getting a nice breeze, getting a nice backdraft. Another classic. We say that about all the routes, but they are really all classics. It has a little bit of an interesting beginning with no protection, and then the crux is a crack. So we'll get the jams in. <laughs>
This is route number eight, Ford's Folly. Thin hands technique can but help, apparently. So this is gonna be Mari's. E26A, so we're stepping it up a little bit. I think it could be quite tough, this one. This is the imposition. Short, like most, and uh, wiggly and wide. Not like Mari. Are you just making this up? Because you just said you know nothing about this route. <laughs> now I'm here, I recognise it from when I've done it many years ago. Nine challenges in. Yep. How are you feeling? Ready for more. It's just not quite enough yet. Underestimated this route a bit. You did. Yeah. That was that was ankle territory. Yeah. You've seen Mari go up. What are your thoughts? She said she underestimated it. So I'm not gonna make the same mistake. I got over. I'm gonna overestimate it. it. On route number 10 it's getting increasingly hotter love it uh, this one is called the undertaker fantastic name so i'm definitely leading this one no soloing and it's e3 but with with ramshaw you can never really trust the grade i always think this like you can do a hard vs and you're like hmm, yeah okay that was all right and then you do the hard vs just the right and you're like Hurr! absolutely beefing it so this is like an e3 but it's what five five meters long into the five meter route so it's really going to pack it in there um, and it's quite steep finger locks and then i think there's a big move into a jam so let's see how it goes it's going to be greasy but i love the grease Magnificent! Magnificent! 
I'm not sure that's the angle you were hoping for. Well, that was uh, a bit kind of awful without tape on. No. It's a sweet delay you've got going on. <laughs> well done. Number 10 in the back. Was it not 11? Mm, 11 in the back. <laughs> Oh my god, this is going to be horrific, as they say. Yes, Pete, yes. <laughs> Hey, watch us here. It's a tricky move. Holy moly. My hands are so sweaty. <laughs> There's a little tricky top out here actually, so just have to be dead careful. It's fucking hot. Boiling hot. Holy smokes. <laughs> that was spicy. That was, that was really spicy. That top out is like top out of the E4, but it felt hideous because they're so, they're so minging. Like look how slope it is up there. Come on. Oh, come on, come yes. on, come on. <laughs> come on, yes. yes. Just grab it. All the friction, all the friction, come on. Come on, stand on the feet. Lean into the lean into the slab. Yes. Easy. Oh. Easy. <laughs> Top rope. Top rope. <laughs> yeah, he's smashed the loser. That's route 12 in the bag. For the baker's dozen, there's just one boulder problem to do. 12 routes isn't quite enough, so we are finishing on Melvin Bragg, this boulder here, it's a V8, and it's actually on the Cracker's Dozen list, and we're calling it a Baker's Dozen, because that's 13. So it's the last one on the list, V8, we're ready to go. The great thing about today is that I forgot we were doing a boulder at the end, so I haven't brought any boulder pads, so we're gonna have to do it above this fantastic landing here, but we can cradle each other, and hopefully we won't fall off. The shoes didn't come off. Excellent. 
Excellent. And that's a wrap. to breathe that's uh, we could maybe wait a few days 